I just realized my mic was down, so I don't know if you even heard me. <laughs> Not down, up. Where am I? Oh, Jesus, I just... Oh. Step away from the pillar that knocks you back. Ow. Ow. Okay, wolves suck. Get out of here. Can I proceed to the next area, please? Thank you. Each in the last episode, if I remember correctly, we got the double jump. These blizzards suck. I'm gonna start. I'm just gonna do the flying, the crazy flying technique here, or at least protect myself against this wind that these wolves are apparently immune against. Ah, oh, crap. So many wolves with and falling platforms too. Nice combo. Combo 142. Oh my god, this is not gonna go go well out. God, this blizzard sucks. Stupid imp Eskimo thing. Okay, can this blizzard please stop? I'm being pushed around. Yes, fidget, I get it. I get it. There's these wolves. Jesus Christ. What the? What was that? Ow. I just, all of, there was all of a sudden just a black screen. That was weird. No, not you again. Oh, no, not this, not this, not this. Oh, that'll actually make- Oh, Jesus! Spikes. Safe point and a shop, sweet. Oh. Aha! Oh, so they are- they are actually affected by the wind. <laughs> it doesn't show when they're in combat. Oh, hello! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Nice. Mountain gear blueprint. Wait, actually, uh, hold on. I have to look through here. I don't care about combos. I don't care about that. How to play the controls, settings. Customize mouse and keyboard. Okay then. In inventory, inventory slash. Okay. An open map. Hmm. Use item in quick item slot, switch projectile. Doesn't say anything on how to, you know, set up anything special like how to access the remote shop. Um, saving and death, villagers and quests, shops and crafting. Price. Yeah, it doesn't help. So. Whoa, 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 okay. I was like, where the heck is my mouse? These are all items. Walking cane, regal cane, trimmed with silver. Oh, these are all the memorabilia. Okay. I still need to find this. Uh, it doesn't work. Come 
us it's this. Okay. Do you just left click? I don't have enough money. Can I sell stuff? Oh my god, is that seriously how you access the remote? I didn't know that. I didn't know you had to click on the blueprints! Which actually do help a little bit, I, to be honest. No way. Oh, beautiful. I just need more materials. I don't know if I have these materials, though. Say, hey, those are types of leather that I think are unique to these er to this, these areas. Hello. Where are these platforms? Come back. No. Oh. Come back. Oh, there, there's one. Come back. I'm stranded in this blizzard. Come back. Kirk. Ah. There we go. Fight the wind. Oh, 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 okay. I found a secret thing. I don't know if it's secret or not. Safe point. If if I can if I can auto save here. Game. Oh, I should probably heal a little bit. Eat some hot dogs. You know, <laughs> if you're on a mountain and you're hungry, eat a hot dog. And there's the shop. If, you know. Wow. You just had to be unresponsive. There we go. I am here to I am here to serve. Thank you, good serve. <laughs> Thank you, serve. And any unchecked items? Very likely. Yes! Wolf pelt. Hollow shard. Cush pelt. And tough metal. Oh, nice. Alright, so then once Your I level up again... Is most so once those materials have been restocked, I'll be able to use the automatic... Oh, jeez, I went flying. Hmm. Oh, this looks so beautiful. There... there was a road here. I remember it. Before that day. Do you remember something? Hey, shop's just talked. But... Hey, actually... There's some development right there. He finally remembered something. Ah, uh, hello. Meow. Ah, oh, you don't have much. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna have to wait. Your transact. A little longer until. Ish. Ooh, it's gonna be a while. Oh, what the? Look, up ahead! A village! Yes! All the way up here? Do you think it's that Moonblood camp Kane was talking about? No, it's something else. It's... An enough talking. Let's get up there. Let's get up there. I think we're already here. <gasps> it's a swing set. HALT! Hello. What? No. Impossible! How are you a 3D Cassius. model? Cassius. What did you call me? Who are you? What are you doing in this place? You... You were dead. No. No, this is not possible. I don't know what demon you are, but you will not step any closer. Kill this... thing! Wait, is this a boss? Fidget, I could use some help here. Hey! You all are gonna... die. Ugh. There. Why? Why destroy such a peaceful place? Gus, what are you talking about? And who is Cassius? That's not... It's not my name. I'd remember it. I'd know it when I heard it. I 
I just got some fluff from one of the guards that I just killed. Jeez. So, hmm. Seems like he is getting his memories back. Seplik Village. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my god. This place was burning. I remember this place. This was actually the when the when the whole exposition thing started at the beginning of the game. This is this place was on fire and you couldn't see who the shadowy person was that was killing hordes of people. Holy crap. Uh, okay, that's just depressing. Looks like this place has been destroyed for quite some time. A year, actually. Huh? How do you know that? This was Ginger's village. I was here one year ago. According to Fuse, according to Ginger, I helped murder everyone in this village. Oh, dust. But I don't remember any of it. I remember this place, but it feels like it's been more than a year. Aro, what does it mean? It only means that things are not as they seem. Explore the village further, Dust. Let us see what secrets it hides. I... Confused. Wait a minute. This house... Do you remember something, Dust? This is impossible. I think I need my uh, ring of sight. No, I don't. Dust? How? Do you see now? But how, Ara? I don't understand. The answers lie above, Dust. Okay, Ara, you're being a jerk. Just be straight. I hear that noise again. Whoa. Ginger. She was sleeping right here, on the night I came to say goodbye. But I hesitated. I didn't want to wake her. Didn't want her to worry about me. She couldn't know what I was about to do. Dust, what are you saying? She couldn't know that I was about to go avenge our parents. You mean, you're... But how? What's going on here? I... I remember now. But how? How can I have helped destroy this village, but be a victim of that same act? That's impossible. Only impossible for a creature with a single soul. Ginger. Those eyes. I know those eyes. So, Mithrarin, you finally see the truth. Mithrarin? Who are you? I am Elder Grey Eyes, leader of the Moonblood people. Huh. Well, what's left of them, that is. Uh, what did you I... mean just then, that I can finally see the truth? What do you know about me? His eyes, Elder. They're Jin's eyes. They do look remarkably similar to your brother's, yes. That is because his soul lives on within dust. What? However, to suit our needs, we required two souls. The soul of innocence is a noble thing, but without skill, without power, dust would have been struck down just as easily as your brother was on that fated day. No. So we combined your brother's soul with that of his murderer, the royal assassin known as Cassius. They perished at the same time, forever entwined. Never before had I heard of such an event. Oh. You, you murderer! My parents did nothing wrong! You have been deceived, little one. Your parents turned against their king, an act of pure treason. What resistance there was, was led by your family alone. You destroyed my village, murdered my friends and family. You will not survive this day. I take no joy in slaughtering one as young as you, child. 
But you have forced my hand. A grave injustice was done that day. Cassius murdered a defenseless djinn, but his pride and arrogance proved to be his undoing. But how? How can this... this thing be my brother? It's not possible. I couldn't even remember you when we met. You are Jin, yes. But you are also Cassius. Two souls, forever at odds. One of innocence, one of power. Together you form the one we call Mithrarin, he who is born of the dust. I never knew what happened. Jin just disappeared one night. I had always hoped he would turn up alive someday, that he would come back. But could you really be him? Ginger, I don't know. I... I don't know. Now, Dust, I imagine you have many questions. Please, do not hesitate to ask them. Who, or I guess, what am I? You are what my people call Sen Mithrarin, he who is born of the dust, created from the essence of the life thread itself. You see, my people have been on the verge of extinction for a great many years. General Gaius planned to eradicate us once and for all, and while our warriors are proud and strong, what chance would we have against such a powerful foe? To defeat General Gaius and save our people, we would need a warrior capable of standing against an entire army. This warrior would also need to be pure of heart, incorruptible. So that's why you picked Cassius and Jin, just like you said, opposites. Exactly. Cassius was one of the greatest warriors this world has ever seen, and Jin's purity of heart would help guide our warrior to save our kind. From their fallen souls, you were born. Born to save us. To save this world. Why did I only remember now? I didn't even recognize Ginger when I met her. You may possess the souls of two separate beings, but your body and mind are your own. You were created to save this world. So we felt giving you memories of either soul would simply distract you from the task at hand. I had no idea who I was, what my purpose was. You say that, but in all cases you did exactly what we intended you to do. You saved complete strangers outside of Aurora Village. You stopped our wayward brother Fuse from destroying all that we sought to save. You saved Mudpot and brought the waters of life back into this land. You purged a demonic rage from this land and even helped two old souls find peace once more. You may not have known your purpose, but that did not stop you from fulfilling it. And now I'm here. Yes, now you are here. And we can finish this fight once and for all. Who was Fuse? He said he was a Moonblood, but... He looks nothing like you. Fuse. He was once a fine warrior, and a close friend of Ginger's family. He would help transport goods between this village and our camp. After the village was destroyed, I guess he lost his mind. He was horribly disfigured after the attack. The only way he could survive was in a special suit of magical armor that I helped to construct. He demanded we attack General Gaius right away but I would not hear any of it. He would have killed us all in the name of vengeance. We would not have stood a chance. When I refused to send our warriors into battle, he called me a coward and vowed that he would destroy Gaius with or without my help. I fear the very armor we made to save his life had corrupted his mind and body beyond repair. Poor guy. If only we could have gone through to him somehow. No. You're right to kill him. If he had remained alive, there's no- Ginger is right. Fuse was beyond saving. For all our sakes, I hope the same is not true of the world he sought to protect. How does the Blade of Ara fit into all this? What is it, exactly? 
It is one of the five blades of Elysium, ancient weapons forged when our kind were many, and the way of the flameless light was commonplace. Wait, wait, wait. What the heck is the way of the flameless light? Yeah, I think Guardian. The path we Moonbloods continue to follow. It is a way of living, a way of thought, that allows us to make use of a power both old and great. Magic without magic. I am so confused. It's a paradox. Surely, as Nimbat Sword Guardian, you've studied the ancient doctrines. You must know, in the event that the sword is summoned by its rightful owner, you are obligated to follow. I may have skipped over that chapter? You haven't answered my question. The blades of Elysium were created to guide their sword bearer's dust. I was summoned to your side to ensure a balance was maintained between the souls within you. Ah, my old friend. It is good to hear your voice once more. It has been a long time, Master. Huh. Wait just a second. How can you possibly know each other? My clan's been keeping the sword hidden for over 200 years. Master Grey Eyes has lived for a very long time, Fidget. Longer than any of you. Well, of so course, longer you than were sent to keep an eye on me? To help you reach your true potential. Nothing more. I have no more questions. So what's the plan now? I have no more questions. What now? You must join us in the Moonblood camp to the north in the Everdawn Basin. Everdawn Basin? That isn't anywhere near the Everdawn Volcanoes, is it? They are one and the same, yes. Ah. Well, that's fantastic. Volcanoes? Indeed. What a better place to hide than in the most volatile land in all the kingdom. Oh, I know. How about a peaceful meadow? Or a quiet forest? Or some place that doesn't explode every ten minutes? Dust, your friend seems awfully tense. No, I'm fine. Come on, let's go to the Blowy Up Mountains. Really, I'm serious. Fidget, you need to have more faith in me. I'll have faith in you when you have faith in yourself. How about it, huh? Who are you? Really? I am... I... Uh... You see? You still haven't figured it out yet! Lizard guy tells you right to your face, and you still don't know! Fidget, please calm down. You mustn't test your friend like this. I just... <sighs> if I'm gonna follow you to the literal end of this world, I need to know who I'm following, and why. I understand, Fidget. You're right. I can't ask you to follow me. But I can. Fidget, you have stood by Dust's side for this entire journey. You have watched him save this world. How can you continue to doubt? I just don't get it. It doesn't matter who he thinks he is. He's dust. That's who he is. That's who I know. Fidget, please. I can't do this without you. Can you, uh... Can you repeat that? I said I can't do this without you. I'm sorry. I just... Nobody's ever said that to me before. Very helpful. It won't be the last time, I assure you. Are you ready, Mithrarin? I am. Calm and dust. We'll meet you in the Everdawn Basin. Goodbye, Dust. We'll see you there. Well, Ginger, you have fun. Quest updated. Dust to dust. Well, that has been quite the exp the uh story dump that we've just gotten but that gives a lot of story to that gives a lot of story and background to dust he is the merging of two souls as as has been hinted at multiple times he is his souls were kind of shattered but then kind of almost I kind of say united as one as told by well his soul has been kind of scattered or shattered as Lady Tethys said. And it's just, everything kind of connects. It kind of fills in any confusion that anyone really has. It's really good. Hello, 3D model. General Gaius? What news, Commander? I did not want to believe it. But Cassius is working with the Moonbloods. 
He has turned against us. That will be for me to decide. Our paths will cross at the Moonblood camp. Of that I am certain. I will speak with him personally. Is that... wise? Our victory is all but assured, Commander. We outnumber them ten to one. We possess superior technology. And we have the element of surprise. But why welcome this rogue element? He has already slain your own soldiers. What more proof do you need that he is a traitor to our cause? Cassius is hardly a rogue element, Commander. The Moonbloods have corrupted his mind, forced him to commit these acts against us. Once I can speak with him, once he remembers who he really is, I'm certain he will return to us. But... <clears throat> yes, sir. As you wish. Cassius, my old friend, so long as you draw breath, I will do what I can to save your broken mind. I promise. Hmm. Here we are, the Everdon Basin. Well, at least Fidget's able to warm up now after being in the mountains for so long. 52%, yeah, I kind of skipped over some things. There's probably some unexplored, unexplored areas. This is uh, quite the climb. Actually, no, there's uh, no unexplored areas. It's just, like, there technically are unexplored areas. I'm going to probably... I know later in this game I'm going to go back, but for now, this has been TrueState64, and I will see you later. Goodbye. Normally I would do a bunch of videos, but this has been kind of a heavy thing on me, and I have company over, so I'm going to... You know, I'm gonna hang out with them. So yeah, goodbye.